Well guys, Nixie, this little video I wanted to show these uh, three 200 watt bulbs lighting up and a little bit of the interaction with the catcher. I want to remind you that I'm running on a laptop adapter uh, that's 18 volts, 6 amps. And the catcher's running on 18 volts, 2 amps. So I'm going to turn on the device. That's one bulb, 200 watt. This is the second bulb, 200 watts. And third bulb. So a total of 600 watt draw. Not 600 watts worth of light, 600 watt draw only. So I will turn on the catcher, which you can see by these little indicators when they turn on. And I will try to tune this so that you can see some effect. At the moment, there is nothing to be heard. Um, so, which means that it's not in perfect resonance. Because usually when it is, I can... Uh, so I'm going to try to adjust it here. As you can probably hear, there's a little difference there. Turn off this light. And at this point, my hand does make an effect, but depending on the catcher, it, uh, it sounds off or it doesn't sound off. And also depending on this, uh, this load of uh, ferrite. Sometimes I can get it to pop on more or less but the tuning is really critical on these things I mean when I turn uh, these little uh, have to turn on the lights because I can't I can't see the little screws on the uh, on this thing here so as I tune it And that little spot right in here, you can hear it. And when you can hear it doing that, is when I get some interaction. Now the interaction is very weak because the catcher is a weak and, uh, you know, it's just running on 18 volts. It doesn't have the full 24 volts. And this uh, laptop adapter that I'm using for the, the circuit here is also uh, is also uh, lower than than normal. But here are the three bulbs, and there is a little bit of interaction with the catcher. I can hardly see it now. I'd have to tune it a little better for you to see the the actual interaction with the catcher. But it's it's slight in any case. It's not like Geos where he can actually put his hand on the thing and, and cut out the light entirely. Mine doesn't work like that. And which is also what I wonder why not and what the difference is. So maybe he can get back with me on that and, and kind of explain to me if he still can cut out entirely the lights by just placing his hand over the thing or not. But in any case, this is what I've gotten so far. And I'm still working on all this, of course, and uh, it's not a done deal, but I am getting some interaction, and I am getting some light, more than I was getting before. So, um, just wanted to show that. Nothing spectacular yet, but I'm working on it, and hopefully it'll get better as my tuning improves, and so forth. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and... Uh, have a good day.